Financial freedom is probably one of the main objectives of most people. I don't think about the money itself, for me it's about freedom, paying bills and enjoying life. Or even to start your own company and enjoying the time however you want. There is a lot of misunderstanding about this subject, so in today's video we're going to talk about 4 steps you can start giving today in the direction of your financial freedom. I don't have magic tricks, I came here to share with you steps that I'm taking myself. And even knowing that some of these steps are for the long term, your life can change today by making these practices. So let's get into the video. Well, this first step will give you a direction and that's probably one of the most important things you must have to accomplish anything. Define how much is your financial freedom. How can you reach a specific amount of money if you don't know how much your financial freedom is? And I'm not saying for you to reach financial freedom and stay there. What I'm saying is for you to reach it and then you come up with new goals. That's how life is supposed to be in my opinion. Well, but how do you find how much your financial freedom is? That's the easiest part, to be honest. Just take your monthly costs of living and multiply it by 12. That's how much income your investments should produce per year for you to live without having to work. Of course, that if you want to do more things than just surviving, add a monthly budget for you to go on trips or to just have fun. Multiply that by 12 and add that number to your living expenses and that's it. Secondly, you must have an emergency fund. Things happen to everyone and we must be prepared for it. An emergency fund even gives you the feeling of peace and allows you to take risks that you wouldn't be allowed to take if you didn't have it. If you get fired for example, you'll need some money to maintain your quality of life for 6 to 12 months. Use the money you got on the early step of your living expenses per year and keep that money safe for an emergency. You could use that money to invest in things with low risk and high liquidity, meaning that you can use the money whenever you want to. Thirdly, you must get some knowledge about investing and personal finances. Let's face the facts, there's no way you're going to be financially free if you can't deal with your own money. If you can't budget, your finances will suck. If you don't know how to invest, you'll probably lose your money doing it. Read about the basics of investments and how to budget, for example. You shouldn't budget and forgetting to have fun, for example. You shouldn't invest money that you're not willing to lose. Financial steps should be taken with with knowledge and persistence. Get some financial education before the last step and make sure you get it from the right people. Don't buy random courses about financial freedom from people who sell dreams instead of knowledge. Search for the best people about what you want to learn and read some books. This takes time but it's all worth it. And last but not least you must invest your money. In the investments world the biggest asset you have is time. So you must invest for long periods and let the compound effect work. Some guys say that you should invest in real estate, other guys say it should be the stock market. In my opinion invest and know your investments. If you invest in the stock market and you know what you're doing, I'm fine with it. If you're investing in whatever it is and you have enough information to do it, go ahead. There are no magic tricks in the financial world, there are no shortcuts or magic bullets. But if you can be consistent making your investments, you'll surely be financially free one day. It all depends on how much you invest per month, how much time your money is going to compound and your investment choices. Financial freedom is something that all of us should be looking for because that freedom will allow you to spend more time with your family for example, to travel or just to be more active in your community. As long as it makes sense to you, why not? Well and for now I finish my video here, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This was Successology here, you'll never be average again. Peace.